Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at Hellmouth War Gauntlets. The uh, Hellmouth War Gauntlets are interesting. They're not like the best of the world, but they're interesting. Um, they have a relatively high defense with the 200% enhanced defense on them. And, um, and they also have a bunch of other just kind of odd effects. And um, I'm not really sure whether they're useful for specific characters or not. And um, the reason is is because it, they, they just they don't they lack some of the more common effects for uh, for items. So for instance, uh, right off the bat we have a uh, defense of 162, um, which is, is relatively high, so that's not bad. Uh, we've got a strength card of 110, which is also relatively high and is uh, is kind of bad if you would want to use these on a specific character. Now, normally you're going to be using these on some kind of melee or ranged character, so it's not too big of a deal. Usually you will have 110 strength, but do keep that in mind. Uh, there are also level requirement of level 47, and uh, these actually can be upgraded, I believe, because uh, War Gauntlets, I'm pretty sure, are the exceptional version and uh, the elite are the ogre gauntlets so we can upgrade these to ogre gauntlets and we're going to do that later um, now right off the bat you see the 200 uh, percent enhanced defense which i mentioned earlier and uh, that does vary from 150 to 200 percent and uh, and while the defense isn't really the main draw from this particular item it would be nice to have one that's a little bit higher um, and since that is the only variable by the way <laughs> um, if you're going to use these you're probably going to want ones that are closer to the, the top end uh, we also have 4% chance to cast level 12 Firestorm. Now, level 12 Firestorm is the Druid ability, and um, it is essentially like the little tiny fire trails that come out. And uh, we're going to play around with the, uh, the Firestorm, don't worry. Um, but um, let me give you an idea of how much a level 12 Firestorm does. So uh, we're talking about 51 to 59 damage per second for the duration of when it's hitting the target. Um, and I don't believe it comes in contact with the target for very long, so we're probably talking about one to two seconds, um, which is probably something like 100, maybe 150 damage, depending on how long it, it stays on them. We also have a 2% chance to cast level 4 Meteor on striking, which is really kind of low, and um, level 4 Meteor is not going to do really a lot of damage. Um, let me pull that up too, just so I can uh, give you the damage on level 4 Meteor, which is uh, 163 to 192 impact damage, followed by 63 to 89 fire damage per second. Um, now, the interesting thing about both of these abilities is that they can be synergized. So if you were to use this on a sorceress with uh, Meteor Synergies, the Meteor would gain the Meteor bonuses, but you'd have to physically strike the target to, uh, to make the Meteor go off. Um, same thing goes for the, uh, the Firestorm. If you were a Druid, you could beef up the synergies and you could beef up the damage of Firestorm. And um, you could make the synergies um, pop off and do, do pretty nice Firestorm damage. But it's not going to be amazing, especially with only a 4% chance on Double 12 Firestorm and a 2% chance with the Meteor. Um, now, it also has uh, 15 to 72 fire damage, which is just added to your uh, melee or ranged attack. And then we have uh, 15 fire absorption, uh, which is uh, probably one of the main draws of this particular item, just so you can have a form of fire absorption that's not on a ring. Um, this way that you can use um, the raven frost for the cold you could use the uh, wisp protector for the or the projector uh, for the lightning and then you could have the uh, hellmouth gauntlets for the fire so you can have all three absorptions uh, 15 absorb is going to work very easily um, it's going to reduce any damage that comes in by 15 and then it's going to heal you for that same amount so uh so if somebody deals 100 fire damage to you um, it will take 15 away so it will immediately go to 85 and then it will heal you for 15 which means it's going to go to 70. so uh, a very nice little amount of healing there and um all in all the hellmouth war gauntlets seem like they were designed around somebody who's really building procs they don't have um 20 increased attack speed they don't have anything like life tap or any of those cool things like like life steal or um, or enhanced damage to demons or anything like that they're very specifically built around absorbing fire and dishing out fire damage and um, i feel like they would also be increased by fire mastery if you were a uh, a sorceress um, now let's go ahead and upgrade these 
So uh, we're going to upgrade these to the Ogre Gauntlets, which is going to require a Lem and a Co, which I'm not entirely sure if I have any more Lem and Co's, but I can always just go grab some. It's not a big deal. All right, so I'm back with the um, Lem and the Co. And before I upgrade this, let me point out the only reason to upgrade this item is for defense. There's no other reason. Um, you don't get any additional block chance like you would with a shield. You don't get any additional um, smite damage like you would with a shield. You don't get any additional physical damage like you would with a weapon. Um, when it comes to gloves, the only reason, really the reason to upgrade them is the defense. So let's take a look and see what kind of defense we get with these Hellmouth War Gauntlets that upgrade into the Ogre Gauntlets. So we start out with 162. We get a strength of 110 and a level of 47. And those go to 189 with a uh, strength requirement of 185 and a level of 71. Not the best upgrade in the world. Really, really not. The defense upgrade, I don't think, was really worth it. Um, and the strength requirement went through the roof to 185, which uh, pretty much says to me right off the bat that these are probably not worth upgrading unless you're using this on a very high strength character. Um, I mean, the small amount of defense bonus is is really what I would call min-maxing. And, uh, and although if you are on a character that multiplies defense, like for instance a Shout Barbarian or a Holy Shield Paladin, that small amount of defense will balloon out fairly nicely. Um, so I can actually demonstrate this with uh, Holy Shield. So right now I have 2,108 and uh, 1,919. And if I Holy Shield, you will see I have 9,882. And when I put the gauntlets on, it goes up to 10,856. So it does multiply a little bit for the uh, the Holy Shield, which is nice. And, uh, and it can be multiplied with other effects like uh, Shiver Armor and things like that off of Fortitude. And um, just in general, uh, small amounts of defense can balloon out to big numbers, but I just feel like it really wasn't worth the huge increase to the strength requirement. Um, if I didn't already have a massive amount of strength, I probably wouldn't even have been able to put these on. Uh, the level requirement up to 71 is hardly even a moot point, because um, if you're upgrading these, you're probably high enough to uh, to wear them, but um, but probably not high enough for the strength requirement. Now, uh, where can you find Hellmouth War Gauntlets? Um, let's take a look on the treasure class, class list, shall we? So we're going to go to uh, Hellmouth War Gauntlets, uh, which is a Q level 55 item and a treasure class 54 item. So it's going to drop basically in uh, treasure class 54 zones. And if we pull up an area level list for Diablo 2, uh, we will find that it's going to drop pretty much from everywhere. Act 3, like Durance of Hate and on. So uh, as long as you're fighting monsters in, uh, in Act 3, kind of like uh, toward the end of Act 3, um, in Nightmare Difficulty um, and everywhere in Hell Difficulty, um, you will see this item fall. So, uh, so keep that in mind as you tra in your travels if you're looking for it specifically. Now, I did actually use this item specifically in one of my Procazon builds. Um, what I did was is I utilized every single item in the game that had some kind of proccing effect, and I put it on a Strafazon and let her have at it. And this was one of the items that I utilized. Um, it didn't do a massive amount of damage on its own, but it was definitely interesting to uh, to have that added into the total. Um, I believe I had, uh, you know, like Chain Lightning and Twisters. I had Firestorm. I had Meteor. I had Frost Novas. I had, uh, you know, Bone Spears. I had all sorts of things flying out as I uh, connected my hits, which uh, which allowed my Strafazon to work surprisingly well. Um, if you'd like to see that video of me actually utilizing these Hellmouth War Gauntlets, that is up there. Um, you just search for Ginger gaming mentor Procus on um, it will uh, it will probably pull up and there's really not a lot more to say about these particular gauntlets uh, I feel like they are pretty self-explanatory um, as always I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos and uh, keep watching